everyone, and welcome back to CCN Gamecast. This is episode four of our weekly podcast This on this wonderful Thursday afternoon. At least that's when you guys are listening to this, probably. Uh, that's, when the video, that's when the podcast usually goes live. But it is actually Tuesday currently when I'm recording this, so... If uh, I'm talking about different things, I won't spoil anything, but there's some things that haven't quite come out yet, so that's where the confusion is. Uh, So, old news. We usually kind of try to break the podcast down in certain uh, topics or certain aspects. So, last last, uh, week we talked about uh, bringing NXT to the channel. That was one of the biggest topics on the uh, podcast, I believe. And I haven't got any response to that yet. Uh, and it's still an idea that I'm really intrigued with doing is bringing NXT to the universe mode uh, in Season 3 after SummerSlam when the new game launches. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that yet. Now, I haven't got any response as to doing a collab of the series by having somebody do the NXT on their own channel but have it collab with my series too. So I haven't heard any reaction on that. Uh, We're going to leave it as is for right now. We're not going to make any decisions yet. Uh, So for now, we're going to leave NXT in the dark for a minute. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about is possibly doing a cruiserweight division. I think that would be slightly easier where it's only one more championship added. And I'm not sure if we're going to do that on SmackDown or on Raw or have kind of a unique way of bringing the Cruiserweight Championship to uh, one of those shows. But for now, I just wanted to kind of feed that little bit of a uh, a line to see what you guys thought about bringing the Cruiserweights uh, to the game. I almost can bet that the Cruiserweight Championship will be in WWE 2K18. It almost has to be. So that's another idea. Uh, the NXT we're going to keep in the dark for right now and see what happens as we get closer. See if I believe I can do that and uh, we'll go from there. Madden NFL 18. We talked about this a little bit on the last podcast where uh, I wanted to do the story mode that came with it, which is called Long Shot. And I also wanted to do a franchise mode. So I have decided what we're going to do and hopefully this doesn't dis- disappoint anybody. We're going to do a franchise mode and the long shot story. We're going to do probably an episode of each a week. Uh, Maybe more if things change. But uh, right now I want to do a franchise mode based around a team. So I I will be playing as the whole team as the coach mode uh, where you you can make more decisions. But it's not as complicated as the owner. It's a coach. Is uh, you play as the whole team. Uh, you make the catches. You send the passes. Uh, you run. You do everything. So I think that's the best thing to start off with. And we're gonna do uh, basically just a year of franchise. Maybe more depending on how it makes out. But for now, I think we're just gonna concentrate on a year of franchise. Now this won't be a, a full regular year. This will be just a, you know, through a game year of the franchise mode. So, uh, we're going to start off with that. The long shot story, we definitely want to do that too. So, that's definitely going to be another thing that is on the channel. And we'll break that up in episodes as well. And release them probably once a week. And get through that. Now, I've been really uh, trying to stay away from other people that are doing the long shots. Because I don't want to spoil the story. I really want it to be unique when I play it for the channel. So I've kind of, you know, strayed away from those kinds of videos. I've seen, like, thumbnails of it and everything like that. And I think I've watched, like, the first uh, maybe half hour of it just because somebody had early released it and I just wanted to see what it was about. So we're going to definitely do that. And I'm trying to uh, strategically stay away from all of those videos to spoil the story because I really want to see it myself. So on the last podcast, we talked about new games that were coming, a couple of new ones. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront was mentioned as one, uh, and I am really excited to play that game. It looks ten times better than the Star Wars Battlefront that uh, 
we have now. Uh, that was a good base game. Uh, there was some quirks to it. Now they've kind of got a year of experience underneath their belt, and they're going to try to release another one. And you can't go wrong with anything Star Wars, really, because there's such a fan base out there for that and the first-person shooter-type games that you're going to make a killing off of that game regardless. Now, COD World War II was also another one that we talked about, and I explained how I kind of had a resentment a little bit towards the... Un- towards the uh, not uncharted but towards the the uh, old cods because i thought they were a little bit too futuristic i thought at the point where they got futuristic as advanced warfare that it couldn't even get any more futuristic than that for now and then it did and then it kept going uh black ops 3 was one of those games that you know I thought was okay. It was a better balance of the mechanics that was in Advanced Warfare, but uh, it still wasn't the kind of game that I enjoy playing. Battlefield 1 came out, and that was a big relief because it felt like the old games that I used to play growing up more, the old Call of Duties, the old uh, Medal of Honors, and you actually got the boots on the ground action that, you know, I really enjoy. Action where you can play with your friends and strategically... Uh, maneuver the map to try to protect each other and get your kills and it, that's what I enjoy I when you're playing advanced warfare or all these ones with the exo suits where you just jump around trying to get kills you you can't do that you can't do the strategic uh, maneuvering throughout the maps with your team to try to find the enemies and kill them you have to jump around and keep jumping or else you get killed and no matter usually for me if I'm jumping or walking I'm getting killed but uh so called cod world war 2 I'm really looking forward to that and that was one of the other games that we talked about and that was kind of I think all we talked about uh for the two games uh, on the last podcast new topics conan exiles was something that I mentioned also the last podcast I believe And there has been one episode released. Now, spoiler here, that Conan Exiles episode is now discontinued. And we have started something else. Not going to release too much, but it's going to be episode 1.2. And that's going to start off kind of like a mini-series of just me getting in there, playing the game, seeing what it's all about. And then maybe down the road, uh, we can turn it into a full-out series. And maybe incorporate a few other people into it as well. Maybe even do something where we play online with other people. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But this is just kind of getting our hands wet into the game. And feeling feeling it out to see how the game is. So Conan Exiles. I believe that it plays really good. I liked Ark better. In there. In as far as the uh, mechanics on having your hotbar down below. Uh, with Conan Exiles, you have stuff that you can put on a wheel. And by holding LB on the Xbox controller, you open up that wheel and then you can uh, move your your stick to whichever option you want there. You go into your menu and you remove things from the wheel and add other things if you want. I don't necessarily care for that too much. I don't like the wheel. I like the hot, the hot bar where it's always down below the screen and you can see what you have on you. And uh, maybe it'll come back, maybe it won't. I understand some of the aspect as to why they did it to remove some of the stuff from the screen. But that hot bar down below in Ark has never bothered me. And uh, I think that Conan Exiles, maybe maybe they only do that for the Xbox. I don't know, I haven't played the PC version very much, so I don't, I'm not positive on that. But uh, Really, it's it's hard to maneuver everything you want to do from that wheel to everything else and keeping track of what you have. Switching to your weapon if something tries to attack you. Uh, the game has intermittent uh, lag issues, which is obviously uh, known being a pre being a uh, preview game. You know, you're going to have that kind of stuff. And uh, I expected it. So, Really, right now, it's hard to have an opinion because the game isn't completely done yet to where we can have a decent opinion of it. Uh, they're trying to work out, work out the kinks, I think. It's a port from the PC, so there probably is some issues with porting some things over 
uh, to the Xbox. And Conan Exiles is probably trying to make things that we've had with issues with Ark forever and make them so that we don't have those issues on this game. So I'll be in- intrigued to see what happens in the future. I will say this, though. I have watched so much gameplay of Conan Exiles to try to learn. I think we're actually ready to get in there and actually make a difference now. Uh, I will say that their building their building uh, mechanics is some of the best that I have seen in any game. Being able to, they have different wedges so you can round your walls off instead of having straight square walls. Uh, they just have so many cool building aspects to that game, and I'm really intrigued to get in and actually do that on this game. So, without further ado, uh, Conan Exiles will be coming to the channel more, and uh, not do a full-out series, but maybe just a uh, Let's Play kind of small mini-series of the game of me playing, and uh, we'll do those probably once a week as well. Uncharted. So we finally finished Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, the last episode was up yesterday on the channel when you guys are watching this. So I was so happy to finish it. And Uncharted 3 is coming. I think it's Drake's Deception is that game. And we're going to have that on the channel and try to uh, bring you guys the best content and finish up game 3. Because I'm really intrigued on getting into game 4, which was made for the PS4. There's so much, it's so much better graphically. And then I'm really, really intrigued on getting into the final game that just came out, The Lost Legacy, and getting our hands on that game and playing that. Uh, I've seen a lot of people playing that game, and it has been hard not to watch any videos because, like I said, I really want the most unique experience with that game on the YouTube channel of me having not seen any of the content. So that way you guys are getting the most, uh, original content now uh if you guys want to watch the gameplay on other people's channels go ahead uh it's gonna be a little while before we get to it where we have two more games left to play before we even get to that one uh because my goal is to have the entire uncharted series on the channel and uh so go ahead don't feel like you have to wait if you guys enjoy watching my content alone and you want to wait until the new game comes out uh great i think that's awesome uh so, yeah, I'm really intrigued to get on to uh, Game 4 especially, but we got to get through Game 3 first, and we're actually going to start playing that after I get done with this podcast to upload over the weekend. The Long Dark. We had talked about doing something with The Long Dark on the channel a while ago, and I haven't really gotten to that game much anymore. Uh, I don't think The Long Dark is going to be a good game to do on the channel right now. Maybe as time goes on, maybe it will be better to do. Uh, I just, there's too many games going on right now that intrigue me much more than that game does to have on the channel. So maybe throughout the winter, we can do something like that where I have a little bit more time to do that. So I think the long dark is going to have to wait until um, maybe the channel slows down a little bit. Maybe when Madden gets a little bit worn out. And uh, we'll probably switch to that some. Fortnite. Fortnite was another game we talked about on the channel. Uh, We have yet to do any more gameplay of that. I have yet to even open the game up. There's so many games out right now that I'm enjoying playing. That Fortnite just kind of been pushed to the back. Uh, It's not a game that incredibly intrigues me. So that's why I haven't really done much with it. Maybe somewhere down the road we can get into it a little bit more and play it some more. But uh, for now, that game is going to be uh, on the back burner a little bit. Destiny 2. So I've seen lots and lots and lots of uh, videos of people uh, playing the uh, beta for that game. I haven't watched any of them, however. Uh, I was a Destiny player when the original one came out. The game really intrigued me. I thought that it was a really uh, kind of neat game at first. And that game kind of really petered out really quick. Um, I lost interest in it. I decided that it wasn't something that I really kind of enjoyed. And it kind of wasn't the game that they said was go- it, it was going to be. So 
that's kind of where I was at with Destiny 2. I haven't even watched gameplay. I kind of should, just to see what it's like, and to see if it's any different than what Destiny was, the original one. And uh, try to get my hands on it, maybe, if it is something that intrigues me. So that'll be something down the road for Destiny. And uh, we'll have to see what that game's all about. There is a few other new games that are coming that I want to try. Now, I have ordered some stuff that we will be unboxing on the channel uh, as early as... Well, you guys have probably already seen it by now, actually. Because uh, I'm recording this on Tuesday and it should arrive tomorrow on Wednesday. So that's the hard part with doing these podcasts uh, beforehand because when it comes out, stuff's already happened on the channel. So you guys are just rehearing it. So, uh, I'm not going to say what it is because if I don't have a chance to unbox it or if something goes wrong with the shipping, I don't want to mess it up by saying it on the podcast. So if you guys have seen it, great. I think it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Um, if you guys have not seen it yet, uh, then we'll probably have to talk about it on the next podcast. Uh, there is some other things uh, unrelated to the channel. Uh, my internet stinks here, so I don't care about spoiling this one. This one's not going to be here for a few days. So um, I did order a Apple Time Capsule, a 2 terabyte, uh, to back up my iMac that I use to do all my recording on. And it's also, the main thing that I wanted it for was to fix the internet. Our internet is a dual band, the 2.4, 5.0 gigahertz, I think is what they are, uh, the dual band internet, and we have so many trouble, so much trouble with the internet, and I think it's because of the amount of devices that we have on it. I have two PCs, an iMac and a Windows. I have an Xbox One S. I have a PS4. We have two cell phones. My wife has a, a MacBook. We have an Apple TV. She has an Xbox One. Uh, we have a Wii U. We have just so many devices. Uh, and I have another laptop here somewhere that's hooked up to it. I have another iPad. Just so many devices that are hooked up to it that I think it drains that. Uh, internet, it's not a very good modem. And that's all it is, is a modem. This time capsule is supposed to be a router. So if we hook that up, it should expand our internet. And it's supposed to be able to handle way more advice, devices than uh, what this one does that we have currently. So that we're going to be unboxing on the channel, I believe. A uh, mini unboxing video. Uh, like I said, it's kind of un unchannel related, but at the same time, it helps me bring the content that I want to to you guys. I don't upload on our internet uh, because our internet's not fast enough, so I upload elsewhere, and I'm not going to say where. <laughs> so uh, the internet I basically just use to watch the videos on. Uh, we edit on them. I actually upload the podcast using our internet because it doesn't take very much to do so. And uh, so, yeah, a couple of unboxings uh, coming. This is Tuesday, like I said, so tomorrow may be one. And I'm not going to say what it is, like I said, just in case I don't get to unbox it before this comes out on Thursday. So, kind of a shorter podcast here today. I do appreciate you guys stopping in to listen. Uh, those of you that are listening on iTunes, thank you so much. Subscribe if you would like. Go to my YouTube channel if you'd like to watch the content there that I have. Uh, we do a big WWE 2K17 Universe Mode series. That is a ongoing series. And uh, if you'd like to check out the YouTube channel, go to CCN Gaming on YouTube and uh, watch some of that content. And uh, for those of you that are are watching on YouTube, hit that like button down below. Comment if you'd like. Uh, let me know what you think about the NXT. Uh, if you haven't watched the last podcast, go back and listen to that. And uh, we had talked about doing a collab with another channel, possibly for NXT, or maybe me just taking it on myself. I haven't really, you know, I don't know what I think about that idea because I am quite busy with the universe mode that I already carry. So adding another one would be something uh, even more. The cruiserweight we talked about this episode. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. What you guys think about the Madden franchise and the long shot story. And then let me know what you think about Conan Exiles. So thank you guys once again for listening right here either on YouTube or on iTunes. And we will see you guys next time on the CCN Gamecast podcast.